Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Incredution. Today we'll look at automation for the first time and make a little bit of progress. So this is my generation history. I did not intend to build a bridge right away. I was just making a few runs to get really close to be able to do it. But I realized it was impossible not to do it because everything is going to get maxed out. So I will automatically build a bridge. So I started recording. So we're going to build the bridge, unlock new stuff. I'm uh, adding fast forward like this as I'm doing the voiceover when it's a little bit too slow to my satisfaction. So here we're building the bridge and after that we'll be able to cross the lake and see what's on the other side. Getting some fish and apples before and then we hit cross the lake. I'm going to fast forward most of it. There you go. I'm not going to survive for much longer in this run. And after that, we'll set up automation for the very first time. And as we go through the game, automation will expand. I'm starting to understand how it works now. And it will enable me to not have to babysit the game so much. So rabbits, I can hunt them and cook them. So hunting is a new skill. And of course, at the very beginning, I'm super slow. Rabbits will be the key to fight the wolf. We'll do that today as well. In fact, it's going to be all about apples and rabbit. Rabbit gives 60 health. So it's the best food I got so far. But I'm not going to survive for long, as I said. In fact, I'm picking apples too slow for the health I'm losing. And we're done. What? 21 minutes. Pretty good run, we broke new ground, and later in the video at the very end, we'll fight the wolf and kill it. I did not expect to do it in this episode, but it's good news. Alright, so this is where we're going to work on priorities, which is automation. I'm showing that my hunting is 1.69 because I played without recording for a while. So I'll show you what I did. Please let me know in the comment what you think. I thought the supreme priority would be wooden and stone hut, top priority. Then second priority would be any food. Now with the fish, I'm gonna have to shut it down in the area where the wolf is. I'll show you that, but that's only temporary. So any food is on high priority. Then I went for wood and stone, if I remember correctly, with medium priority. I was thinking here, you see me uh, do it in real time. Any building will be low priority or exploration as well. Besides the hut, of course, which is top priority. So wood is mid priority, stone, yeah. And then we have exploring will be low priority and fighting the spider as well. And there's a safeguard where if you're too low on health, it stops fighting mobs. So I'm not going to die. And what we'll do is we're going to check how it goes, because what's nice about this is I can start a run, do other things. And the game becomes idle for a while until I reach a certain point and it's going to get further and further. So let's see how it, how it goes. At first, I was surprised to see that it would cut wood because my priority of uh, food is higher than wood, right? But the top priority is wooden hut. So the game does what it can to build the wooden hut because it's top priority. That's why it's cutting wood instead of gathering berries. So that surprised me, but it's actually logical. So here I'm just waiting and touching nothing all the way to the spider. And I think I was uh, missing only one run to be able to get to the other side of the spider. And then after that, I can automate later on building the bridge and moving ahead like this. It's nice because uh, I didn't mind babysitting at the beginning, but of course it gets repetitive after a while. So it's really nice that they have this feature. I did not understand it at all at the beginning and it was useless. I didn't mind uh, doing it all by hand. I'm building a wooden cart now because 
Cutting wood is pretty fast now and it's only I think 10 wood but I'm not doing the stone cart. I may have to do it um, in the next episode though. You'll see why. So it's trying to max out wood, berries before exploring the area due to priority. I think there will be a few um, speed ups also. I don't remember where I put them, but anyways, or here it is. So I'm going to catch fish here and all the way to 15, then build a campfire. There you go. And I'm going to cook fish. It's all fast forward now. And everything will get maxed out before I explore the cave. And then I'll be able to find the spider already. There you go. Explore the cave. So it's really nice. Really uh, happy about that, seriously. There you go. Now I'm gonna dig stone. So I have to make my stone hut because it's top priority, of course. So it's gonna dig stone. I don't know if it's gonna go all the way to 15. I don't remember what it does. But because digging stone is higher priority than fighting the cave spider, I'll max out my wood and stone, which is fine because I need to build a bridge after that. Slowly building the stone hut. I guess I could have cut that part, but too late. We'll just watch it being built slowly. And I'm showing you the behavior for those who don't play the game too much of automation. And now we max out everything before we fight the cave spider. I will not build the stone cart. Uh, when it becomes possible to automate it, when I build it right away, it's possible. I don't know yet. Because um, after the wolf, there's something that requires a lot of mats. That's why I'm going to need a stone cart. I'll figure it out. By next episode, we'll figure it out. Okay. There you go. Now the game paused itself because it reached the maximum it can in terms of automation and I'm back to playing manually. With this jump cut, we're about to fight the wolf. I'm hunting rabbit and I'm going to cook it. Uh, I don't remember how much rabbit. I think it's going to be 15. Yeah, I'll max it out and I will fight the wolf. I wasn't sure I would be able to fight it. I tried multiple times. And every time I tried, I made more and more progress. But the wolf really hits hard for now. Of course, in the future, it won't be a problem. As you can see, I shut down the catch and cook fish automation because it's pretty annoying. All it does is uh, catch, cook, catch, cook, catch, cook because I'm losing too much health. So I have to shut it down. But eventually, I'll get so strong that I believe fish will be perfectly fine just to fight the wolf it's not a big effort to click on that anyways after each run all i have to do is set it back up to normal so uh, we went through done and uh, i will exit this video on the fly i'll cut all the way to the point where we're close to beating the wolf because this is taking too long Okay, so I might have removed about a minute and a half. It's not that long, but it's always the same thing. And uh, honestly, I had nothing to add. So we might as well cut it. And now we kill the wolf and we're ready to explore the shore. I wasn't sure whether or not I should get some more food. But my look at my bar. My health bar is getting filled up almost to 100%. So... Let's explore the shore, see what's the other side. For those who are not there yet, I will show you what I meant by me needing to build a stone cart. Then we'll do another jump cut where I'm about to die because I will be uh, doing always the same task. It will be impossible for me to build whatever I need to build. So all I'll do is hunt, get the hunting much higher is the key apples and rabbit are the key for me to be able to kill the wolf much faster and for future automation so a raft 
So it's the same principle as the bridge. Now I need to build a raft and it's a lot of mats. So I'm gonna need the stone cart. It costs 20 and 10. It's not that bad, right? Now that I'm much faster at digging and wood cutting. Now the sailing is a new skill. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Next episode we'll know about it. And here I'm about to die. All I've been doing is hunting rabbit and cooking it and that's it. Try to stay alive. But uh, I was not gonna start trying to build this raft because it requires too much material. So hunting 2.15, farming 3.91. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. And then what I would do is put it back to not top, that's wrong. I'll realize it in a second, but put it back to high for catch and cook fish until I'm strong enough to keep the fish while I fight the wolf. And here I was just scanning, making sure there's nothing new that was added and it's not the case. All right, we're going to look at the generations. I'm going to scroll down slowly and you can pause if you want to look at these numbers. We'll do that every video and that will be it for this one. So please let me know in the comment if you like this format. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.